what are some good toys to have around so they won't chew up your slippers and your couch and right and that's a good point because they don't recognize the difference between the things that are valuable to you versus a toy so it's right. good to have a lot of toys something that hopefully they can't chew up and swallow and become harmful to them so you need to find appropriate size based on the size of the dog um, and and the habit of the dog some dogs are you know any toy is fine they're not going to chew it up and eat it another dog is going to start gnarling it apart and tearing it up and it's a problem mm -hmm. so you might have to get more of a nyla bone or something that's really hard that isn't going to break apart and another dog can handle this little stuffed toy and that's fine yeah. but have a number of them and change them frequently maybe you buy 10 and you change them every day and they come back to the, you know, because they get bored. Because they do. If you give them the same toy after a few days, they're looking for something new. And mm -hmm. so then your shoe or something, your purse or something becomes new and exciting to yeah. them. So you want to keep rotating them. My um, daughter took, um, she's got two dogs and she took um, some bones that they weren't paying any attention to. They were wanting something new. She took right. them and put them in a bag, real bones, big, right. big gnarly uh, knuckle, yeah, bones. knuckle bones and stuff. And uh, about two weeks later, she was in the garage and found them. And she put them back in the house, and they loved, it was like new. Right. They forgot right. that those were their old bones they were sick of. Right. <laughs> and if they do get to chewing on your, you know, if you find them chewing on, you know, something of value, you need to divert their attention over to what you want them to have, mm -hmm. you know, and keep doing that kind of thing. And um, hopefully they'll grow out of it soon.